Elections, which are often hailed as the festival of democracy, have always set off celebrations in these families where politics has been running in the blood for years. This December, Gujarat is once again set to witness some engaging electoral battles involving close relatives including two brothers, pitted against each other, candidates from either side of in-laws and a father-son duo cutting across political parties. A rousing contest is on the cards in the Ankaleshwar seat of Bharuch district where two Patel brothers, who are not even on talking terms, will be trying to draw first blood. Four-time BJP MLA Ishwar Singh Patel will be fighting his elder brother Vijay Singh who joined the Congress last year after working for BJP for 20 years. I defeated my uncle by 36,000 votes in my first election in 2002. I will defeat my brother with over 75,000 votes this time, Ishwar Singh, whose father Thakur Bhai was also a two-time MLA, told TOI. When in BJP, I opposed all the wrongs even if it was by my brother, but attempts were made to pull me down. Hence, I joined Congress, which offered me a ticket, Vijay Singh told TOI. In Ahmedabad, former Mayor Amit Popatlal Shah is contesting as BJP candidate from the urban Ellis Bridge seat, while his son's father-in-law Bhushan Bhatt son of BJP veteran late Ashok Bhatt will be fighting from Khadia seat in the Old City area. Political veteran Shankar Singh Vaghela's son Mahendra Singh is expected to fight for the Bayar seat on the Congress ticket. His daughter is married to the son of Balwant Singh Rajput who is contesting on Sidhpur seat as a BJP candidate. In Surindranagar district, Congress has given the mandate to two cousins, Kalpana Makwana and her uncle Lavji's son Ruthwik. While Kalpana, whose father Karam Singh was a seven-time MLA from Saila and former minister, will fight from Limudi, her cousin Ruthwik has been chosen for the second time to contest from Chotila seat. Ruthwik and Kalpana are school principals. It is usually one family, one ticket. But what do you do when two brothers are heavyweights in their own right? That seems to be the case with these two Kohli strongmen, Purushottam Solanki and younger brother Hira. They are contesting as BJP candidates from Bhavnagar Rural and Rajula seats respectively. It is hard for BJP to deny them candidatures given their clout and sizable number of Kohli votes. The state also appears primed for the mother of all electoral battles with a father who is dubbed the Robin Hood of tribals set to take on his son in a prestige duel. Bharatiya tribal party founder Chotu Vasawa filed his nomination for the Jhagadiya seat on Monday. Days after son, Mahesh submitted his papers for the segment that his dad has won seven times. If Mahesh does not eventually withdraw, it will set up an interesting father-son contest. Mahesh is the sitting MLA from Dediyapada. I am going to file the nomination from the Jhagadiya seat on Monday, the 75-year-old Vasawa tweeted. Speaking to TOI, Vasawa termed Mahesh's entry into the Jhagadiya joust as a political game by some people. Politics, it seems, has divided cricketer Ravin Jadeja's family too. His wife Rivaba is BJP's candidate from Jamnagar North, edging out the sitting BJP MLA to get a chance at her electoral debut. But campaigning against her will be her own sister-in-law, Ravin Jadeja's sister Nayanaba, who is campaigning for the Congress party. Nayanaba joined the Congress along with her father, Anirudh Singh Jadeja, in 2019. Nayanaba was also vying for the Congress ticket from Jamnagar, but did not get one. So, even though it's not a direct fight, the family finds itself divided on who it will be supporting and campaigning for this election. Stay tuned for more interesting stories from the political battlefield of Gujarat in this election season.